Hello, I am Angela Hubbard. I am the Grandson Relationship Manager for Birth to Five Illinois, and I use she, her pronouns. Thank you for watching this informational webinar about the Birth to Five Illinois grants for local early childhood collaborations. This recording will be shared to the Birth to Five Illinois YouTube channel. Please submit any questions to grants at birth25il.com. Y si necesita esta grabación en español, por favor envíe un correo electrónico a grants arroba birth to five il.com. Gracias. Closed captioning is provided by Zoom. Um, we apologize in advance for any mistakes. If you're watching this today, it's likely because you are interested in improving the systems of early care and education in your area through the work of a local early childhood collaboration. You have probably already visited our Birth to Five Illinois grants page, but if you haven't, please visit birth25il.com forward slash grant dash recipients to learn more. This is where you will find the eligibility criteria, the application, frequently asked questions, and any updates about the grants. This slide comes directly from the FAQs or frequently asked questions on our grants webpage. What is an early childhood collaboration? Some people may not be familiar with the term, but Birth to Five Illinois defines them as formalized groups of stakeholders working together to improve their, their local early childhood system. The Birth to Five Illinois grants are not meant for individual childcare providers, homes, or centers. The grants are for currently operating local early childhood collaborations or applicants seeking to establish new early childhood collaborations in areas that do not currently have one. Some collaborations have bylaws and standing meetings. Some are 501c3 organizations. Others are simply groups of like-minded community members working together to strengthen their early learning systems. If you are unfamiliar with early childhood collaborations, we encourage you to explore the resources available at partnerplanact.org. You can read through the collaboration directory to learn about the types of work early childhood collaborations do throughout the state. You can also read about the work of collaborations who have received Birth to Five Illinois funding by scrolling down on the grants page. There are currently two types of grants available. Implementation grants are to provide funding to early childhood collaborations that are already operating. And planning grants are to help get new early childhood collaborations up and running. We will award up to $600,000 and expect the individual grants to be between fifty dollars and $80,000. To be eligible for either grant, an applicant must meet the following requirements. The collaboration may work at the local, county, multi-county, or regional level. And specific to planning grants, you must be willing to establish a collaboration whose members represent a range of backgrounds and fields. The use of fiscal agents are permitted. And again, individual childcare homes and centers are not eligible for these grants. The applicant must be a legal entity. Um, 501c3 status is not required. The collaboration or its fiscal agent must be GATA certified. The applicant must be in good standing with the state of Illinois, and the applicant must have a unique entity identifier or UEI. Visit sam.gov to find information about the unique entity identifier. Grantees will report monthly on expenses and be required to maintain records or of receipts and invoices for auditing purposes. It is important to note that most of the grant payments will be made on a reimbursement basis. Grantees will receive an initial partial payment equal to two months of the grant's full amount. 
Grantees will submit narrative reports to track progress toward deliverables in July, April, um, and January. Implementation grants require a 10% match of funds, which may be in cash or in kind. Here are some allowable expenses for the implementation grants. Um, this list is meant to be a starting point. It is not exhaustive. Collaborations could use grants for things like mileage reimbursement, um, for collaboration members to connect with more rural or remote areas, or areas of service, um, staffing. You could hire a part-time or a full-time coordinator for the collaboration. The money could be used to convene stakeholders, um, rent meeting space, you could have technological purchases like iPads and laptops to help with on-site outreach or developmental screenings. Um, you could also use the money for brand development and marketing. Some collaborations have used our funds to increase their online presence um, by designing websites or logos. And those are just some of the ways that you can use the, uh, the funds. Here are some of the expenses that are not allowable with our funds. That includes the purchase of food, gift cards. Um, we know these are often used for family or care, caregiver incentives. Um, and it's a hurdle that we encounter in our own work, but unfortunately we, we cannot use these funds for gift cards. The funds cannot be used for construction. Um, therefore you can't use it to build a new center or fund additional classrooms or add te teaching positions, anything like that. So direct funding to programs um, like these are not allowable. As for the, app uh, the application itself, it is available in English and Spanish on the Birth to Five Illinois Grants page. Again, at birth25il.com forward slash, slash grant dash recipients. You will choose the type of grant you'd like to apply for and click the Apply Now button on our grants page. Um, you'll be able to find that application button on both the implementation and the planning uh, sides of our page, so you can go either way. To provide broad access to this funding, it was important to Birth to Five Illinois that we use a platform that would allow the application to be completed in more than one sitting and on a variety of devices. So if you have any trouble using this, this form, please contact us at grants at birthtofiveil.com. Here are some important links and dates for the Birth to Five Illinois grants. You can visit the website to access the application and the resource materials. You'll find our frequently asked questions. Our application deadline is November 3rd, 2023. The grants will be awarded within the same month of November and all grant funds must be spent by June 30th of next year in 2024. Please direct all questions about the grants to grants at birth to five il.com. You can always stay update, updated on what is happening with Birth to Five Illinois by subscribing to the Birth to Five Illinois email communications. And you can connect with us on social media. Links to our social platforms can be found at the bottom of our website, as well as at the bottom of all of our email communications. Thank you for taking the time to watch this informational recording. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can do that through the grants at birth to five il.com email. Thank you so much and best of luck.